Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how I built these sneeze guards for the United States Postal Service to protect them from the COVID-19 virus on Dad It Yourself. Hey, good morning. I got a good project today where I'm going to be working on uh, some sneeze guards to help lower that curve for the COVID-19 virus. But before I get started, I'm going to have to clean this shop, get it organized. Alright, so I got the shop clean. Let's get started on this project. So the sneeze guards I'm going to be building today are for a clerk customer type environment where the customer is directly across from the clerk. I've got plans right here I mocked up. I'll have a link down below in the description and I'll put those up on the screen so you get a better look at them. Uh, I'm going to build a mock up real quick just to check all my dimensions and then we'll start uh, batching out all the different parts and putting it together. So there's the prototype. A little bit of scrap lumber and some extra plexiglass I had laying around. All my measurements were correct and everything seems to fit. This is going to be painted when it's done. So let's go ahead and start batching out the pieces. So I set up this stop block right here. This is going to give me the 34 and 3 quarters inches I need from the blade to here for the side pieces. I can get two side pieces and a bottom tray out of each 8 foot section of lumber. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the sides off, reset the block, and then cut the remaining piece down to the 25 inch width for the bottom plate. So all the side pieces and the bottom plates all batched out, 20 sides, 10 bottoms. Moving on to the feet now. So the feet are made out of a 1x6, which is actually 5.5 inches tall. This is a 30 degree angle, 7 and 3 quarters across the bottom and an inch and a half across the top to match up with the sidebar. I'm going to batch those out using the stop block as well. It's a little loud in here because of the dust collection, but I got my stop block all hooked up. First angle cut so I know where I'm at. Let's get these cut out. So I'm using Select Pine from Home Depot. And this stuff comes 4S and it's really straight. That's why I chose it so I didn't have to spend a lot of time milling it. But if it has a curve in it, and this one maybe has a slight one, what I want to do is put the groove that's going to hold the plexi on the curved side so that it curves in towards the plexi as opposed to curves out. So I've dialed in the blade to cut a quarter of an inch and right in the middle of the stock. 
And what I'll do is I'll actually flip it around to make sure this cut is right in the center, but it's pretty close already. So the next thing I need to do is this little round over detail right here on the top of the side supports. I've got all the side supports clamped down on this workbench and I'm going to round this over, flip it over and round this over and I'm going to use my Ryobi palm router with a 3 16 round over bit in there. While I get everything clamped together, I'm going to use my orbital sander and just clean all these edges up nice and smooth. So this is five sheets of eighth inch laminate and they're stacked and they're squared against each other. And then I don't know if you can see it, but there's a purple line that's exactly at the 24 inch mark. And that is the width of the line is the center, which coincidentally is the same thickness as that blade. That's a special Diablo blade. It's uh, for laminates and acrylics and even aluminum. Um, I'll have a link to it down in the description. It's a seven and a quarter. I'm using my Ryobi corded saw here. I have my four foot level squared and clamped down and that's going to be my guide as I cut this. It is supported by polyfoam so it, as it cuts through it doesn't cut the table and it doesn't bow or bend as I'm cutting it. Let's get started. What a smelly mess, but that cut was perfect. That made a huge difference. Okay, it's time to start assembling these. I'll put the feet on the sides, groove in, made this little jig right here, get my spacing like that. I'm going to use 18 gauge inch and a quarter uh, brads with this Ryobi cordless. We're going to glue it in with Type Bond 3. Okay, time to put the bottom rail on. Goes right on here. A little bit of glue, a couple of brad nails, and that'll be on.
Well, there you go, folks. A sneeze guard for the United States Postal Service. There's actually 10 of these. A couple more sitting over here behind me. These will all be in action Monday morning, protecting everybody out there from the COVID-19 virus. Remember, listen to your federal, local, and state authorities. Wash your hands, six feet distance, and everything will be fine. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right over here. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.